too. Oh, uh, we gotta go over down power lines to get to his house. He doesn't have power, so we're good. Wow, dude, this is Lakewood Ranch. Unbelievable. This is Highway 70 in Lakewood Ranch. Unbelievable. This is insane. So Look this is it. Highway 70. These are all the people that evacuated trying to come back. We're gonna be removing your salt life stickers if you evacuated. Wow, dude, this is Lakewood Ranch. This is a lot of Lakewood Ranch. This is a lot worse than I thought. Guys, if this is in Lakewood Ranch, I can't even imagine how bad it's going to be along the coast. I'll just give you a 360 here so you know it's not just one isolated thing. It's like the entire neighborhood looks like this. I don't think a hurricane can do this. This had to be a tornado, maybe. What on earth? This looks more like a tornado than a hurricane. This is wild. I'm not gonna lie, certain types of neighborhoods seem to have done better with the hurricane, like these types of houses like this. I just sure drive to this little neighborhood so you guys can have a realistic idea of what the average damage looks like. Of course, not everybody lost everything here. There's damage, but most people's houses are still intact. You've ruined my lake view. All right, so this is the town center here in Lakewood Ranch. You know, these areas are built to withstand hurricane strength, so it's not a surprise that there's almost no damage in most of Lakewood Ranch, with the exception of the areas that are like, Look you know. Look at these apartments like this. A lot of them have power and also, um, well, there's no damage at all. Not even to the landscape anymore. Black roses are in my garden, oh yes. Black, black roses. Ranch, we're camping out in front of the restaurant, so wait for them to open. People back camping up. out in front of the Starbucks, waiting for them to open again. Like, I need my machine over there. Already clean this whole side of the road right here. But we need our base road to open back up so we can get French cuisine. Which place is this? It is open. Oh, wow, it is open. I'm telling you, man, we don't waste time to get back to living our life here in Lake Ranch. It's the way we, we roll like that here in Lake Ranch. Don't come to be wasted out here. Got people like camping out in front of the Starbucks. And we are going to open up. We need a Mappuccino. Yeah, buddy. Very little damage to these types of apartments, like these big hey, buildings. Look, man, we need to get ourselves one of these Hummer bees down there. I lives in Lake Hood Ranch. You heard me, Wode? My grandma is so special. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I live in Lake Hood Ranch. A ranch. A ranch. I live in Lake Hood Ranch, okay? It's very nice, yeah, yeah. Very nice. I love how people with Jeeps all evacuated, they're just not coming back. These types of apartments right here, look, they're all, it looks like nothing happened over there. The landscaping is the right type of landscaping. Nothing, like just, like, looks like nothing happened over there. Somebody told me to use proper grandma the other day. I said, I, I, I don't do anything with my grandma. She's old. I don't even know what I could use her for. You believe that, honey? Somebody told me to use proper grandma. Yeah, yeah. Very nice. Very nice. Mm-hmm. We have some street floating. Yeah, yeah. Street floating. My street is floating. Yeah, yeah. There's some street floating. Yeah, yeah. Not too bad.
were in my house I'm gonna guess a tornado came through this little spot. What do you think, Katie? You think a tornado came through Lake Orange? Probably. Cause it looks like this. This this looks like that a same, tornado. This is that same line where we were earlier too. Yeah. I wanna guess a tornado came right oh through here. Gosh. Like trees don't usually like This is not hurricane tree, damage, this is, this is like, tornado. like tornado, yeah. I'm pretty sure we might have a tornado come through. But when you have a hurricane, you will have tornadoes in it. Yeah, usually tornadoes have her uh, thing on. So this is the situation in Lakewood Ranch, guys. Um, looks like the northern edge of Lakewood Ranch had some pretty considerable damages. I think a, maybe a tornado might have came right through here because there's a line of absolute destruction. This is the park right here. And uh, there's just like a little line of complete destruction just south of Highway 70. And I'm gonna guess that maybe a tornado came through here because the amount of damage in this little spot, it's kind of... Uh, could have been the eye wall too because we were right on the edge of the yeah. it could have been the eye wall but when you get back to highway 70 see that that little street right there, there's a lot of destruction on that little line right there yeah. this is highway 70 there's a bmw here with the airbags exploded i don't think they were in an accident i just think for some reason their, ex their airbags exploded randomly oh they did crash okay what did they crash into i don't see the other car but if you pay close attention, guys, we're on Highway 70 now, and I, I can't, there's nowhere to stop here to show you, but you, you on the left-hand side of the road, all over here, on the left-hand side of the road, you can see a golf course now on the left. You couldn't see that. Publix I'm, is open. Already open? Yeah, well, Publix is real. If, if you pay attention on the left side of the road, guys, it almost looks like a tornado came through here. Um, and look, look at how the trees are shopped right here. This is tornado damage the left hand side here this is tornado type damage this isn't hurricane damage you can see how the trees are shopped those used to be a, a thick line of uh of uh, pine pine trees and now everything on the left used to be a thick line of pine trees and now there's just maybe one or two standing um and you can see that the pine trees that are left are shopped in half practically that's more uh tornado damage than hurricane damage and when we started today's video all those houses that were like trees down a lot that was right in front of there so i'm pretty sure a tornado came right through there on the south side of highway 70. in fact you can see here the the pine trees you can see a golf course there you couldn't even see that there's a golf i didn't know there was a golf course there you drove through here and all you could see was uh just pine trees and now you can see a golf course on the other side which is like I had no idea that was even there so Almost certain a little tornado ripped through Lakewood Ranch along the south side of Highway 70. All right, guys, that's a quick tour of Lakewood Ranch. Um, we'll do another video of Lakewood Ranch later, I'm pretty sure. You can also see houses there. You can see houses, fences, none of that you can see. And in fact, uh, the, the power pole right there is twisted. That's a power pole we showed you at the start of the video so i'm almost confident almost certain that a tornado ripped through lakewood ranch either that or like a really strong eye wall it's definitely a little bit more destruction there than the surrounding areas there is no lights right now so it's just stop and go my garden is so special oh yes oh yes i live in lakewood ranch oh yes oh yes there's a fire station here on the south side. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. Lakewood Ranch is so special. Oh yes, oh yes. I think the biggest catastrophe here is that the Starbucks still hasn't opened. It is. Okay, he's got like an app for it. <laughs> He's like, they're gonna open up, honey. Don't worry. Look at this pine tree here that fell right here. This is crazy. There's a pine tree down here by the front of Walmart. Well, it is what it is, man. We had a hurricane. This will come through this mug, y'all. All right, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching our video. I hope you guys enjoyed looking at Lakewood Ranch and Destruction. And, uh, bye.
Actually, I don't hope you enjoy that. Look at these people. They're, they're in a rush down there. Oh, you cut him off. Yeah. He's in a Ford, but you're in a GMC. Now you got to fight to the death. All these people that evacuated, if you evacuated, you have disgraced what your mother has created. Take that salt sticker right off that bumper down there. Especially, I've seen a lot of Jeeps evacuating. I thought you had a 4x4 four four down there. Hey, what? All right, y'all. We're entering Branson. That's Lake, Lake Hood Ranch. 